to your grace with these gifts. Use them to bless us and others in your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Steadfast love of the Lord never ceases, and his mercies never go to an end. So let us lift up prayers before his strong prayer. The response to these prayers shall be, Lord, have mercy. To Samuel Robert Pesci, who was baptized today, and all God baptized me, that because his word promises that the Lord is good to those that wait for him, the Holy Spirit will grant us hope that he waits patiently for his help that our Father would have compassion on us according to his steadfast love, and that he would sustain us in saving faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who are afraid, that as our Savior invited the young synagogue group to not fear but believe, he would replace our fears with faith, that confidently trust him to care and carry us through the troubles of life, and that he reassure us with the promise that his anger is but for a moment, while his favor is for a lifetime. Let us pray to the Lord. For now it's ready to speak the gospel, that the Holy Spirit fill our conversations with the message of Jesus. Because even though he asked the disciples not to tell what he did for the city of God, he bids us to make known his sacrificial death and victorious resurrection, and that he grant us opportunities to speak of his saving work. Let us pray to the Lord. We thank you, Lord to the gift of life, with Terry Fyle, with Tom Graybosch, with Stacey Petrucci, Ken Seppi, Master Stan, Stephen Green, Aileen Reinheimer, and Christine Green as they celebrate their birthdays this week. Thank you, Lord, for the lives of these dear saints and continually cause them to be a blessing in your kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our nation, that our Heavenly Father receive our gratitude for the blessings grants to us in this country, that he guide our leaders to provide protection and justice, that he watch over those in the military who defend us, especially John J. Bell, Peter Rivera, South Mary Sierra Jr., Brandon Keeson, and Christopher Wilk Jr. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Also, we pray that he supply employment to all people and prosper every useful business. As Lord, we thank you for work, and we thank you as we celebrate with Alice Rogowski, her retirement. She thanks you, Lord, for her career and her retirement. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, we thank you for the gifts of education, and for Dana Rice, Christine and Joseph Sasha, Christopher McCullough, Rebecca Bakalupo, and all others of our congregation as they graduate high school, as they have graduated high school this weekend, and also for Alan Ruby, who has completed his first year of college. Let them use their education to glorify you. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, we thank you also for Christian education. And we ask that you bless all of the teachers and assistants that were commissioned here today. And we ask that you bless all of the children in Vacation Bible School to hear of your love and grace. Lord, in your mercy. For generous hearts, that God grant and lead us to joy in the affliction and generosity, even in poverty as his grace did for the Christians in Macedonia, and that our, Lord, our Heavenly Father show us what a privilege it is to give generously for his work. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. For those who help us battle and deal with death, that doctors and nurses and hospice workers and all who labor in health care be granted strength in their tents. Guidance in their decisions they make, skill in their vocations, and love for the people they serve. And for all those who are sick and suffering, especially the need of being Alfred Hoppy, that because God does not willingly afflict or grieve the children of men, he who cured the bleeding woman and the synagogue ruler's daughter would also provide healing and the peace of his promises to those for whom we pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord for all those who grieve, let the one who raises the dead comfort each of them with the promises of his presence, with the assurance of, that the day is coming when he will bid all the dead to arise and will welcome into heaven all who live and die with faith in him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who receive Christ's body and blood, that this medicine of immortality will provide healing and life to all of us who 
who've been sick in my sin, that it prepares to fake death without fear, and that it teaches for our sake. Christ became poor, so that through, if, through his poverty we might become rich. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. The grateful heart to remember all the saints whose souls are well with their Savior. That is, that is Christ the said the child was not dead and sleeping, but also trust that those who fall asleep in Jesus will awake to resurrection life, and that our Father receive our praises for the faith and works of all believers whose bodies rest in the grave. Waiting for the resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord great is your faithfulness, so into your hands we commend all of whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Continue with the service of the sacrament on page 160 in your hand. Your ascension into 
heaven, and your coming for the final judgment. So remember us in your kingdom, and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be 